half my mind. Yes. Yeah, because we are training, just during training. And we should have playing one ball, we should have say eleven aside. Then we we're, we we're in the same team. So when he collapsed, uh, he was actually I think ten meters away from me. And he was holding the ball and then when he when they took the ball from him, he actually collapsed. So, at first, we thought maybe he's cramping or something when he fell, when he fell down. And after some seconds, we realized that he you know, there's something else. After, after some seconds, because you know, we were playing. You understand? We were playing. It was during the play, in training. And then when he fell, after some seconds, we returned to him. Then, when we returned to him, we found him actually, you know, gasping for air. And then I looked at him, but because he was gasping for air, we, we actually think anything bad, or you know, and then. We called in the manager, Sanomala Baden. He took him into his car. But, you know, when he, when he left, when he was rushed to the hospital, I had a bad fear. I had a really bad fear. Because it was the first time I, I saw that, that kind of bad sight to see, you understand? I had, I had a bad feeling when I actually saw the car leaving, you know, rushing to the hospital, and they rushed him to this clinic here in village. And when the manager came, and as for us, we continued, you know, playing, continued playing, because when he when he was rushed off, it wasn't bad. He wasn't mute. I said, he was still producing some sounds, trying to talk and everything. But he was, he was not normal. Like the sight was not normal. And during the training, during the training, we actually trained, and the manager came back. came back and he was talking to I think it was Bratino on the sideline and I looked at him the way they were talking when we were playing when we were actually in training I looked at him because you know I was a bit restless since the guy left since he was rushed to the hospital and you know when we were still playing and then the manager came back waiting for us to finish training. I looked at him and then there's something. Something has happened. Something has happened. Like from the body language. Imagine I'm looking at him whilst the ball is being played in the field. It's like, there's something that has happened. There's something that has happened. And then training finished. When we were done with actually stretching and everything. When we were about to go to our cars and everything to change, they called us. And then the moment I saw him in the eyes, I was like, the guy is gone. The guy is gone. You've lost the soul here. The guy is gone. Just by looking at him. You know, this service. Because he didn't even manage to break the news to us. But, uh, but the Bratin, he's the one who who took the burden, instead of telling us those, those heartbreaking news. And 
the boys were crying like babies. Yeah, imagine all those those guys crying like babies. Babies. Yeah, and I failed to cry. I don't know why. But I was heartbroken because he was one person who was always with me, you understand? Even after training, we were always together. Sometimes they would even drop me off along the way. So just I think I was during training from you know my consciousness. I was sensing I was sensing something really really deep before even the boys heard about that. So it was more like you know when your spirit is an is, is an ease. So that's what was happening to me. It was, it was huh. nobody ever thought something like that can happen, especially in our country. And it was for the first time, I think. So it was a bad experience. But who knows? We, we there are things that we can control, and there are some things that are beyond our control. So it happened and 